What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Big Country Customs. I'm a little sick, but it's all right. I feel like I'm always sick since I had a kid. Today, we're gonna be reviewing the Toro Time Cutter, the 2020 model. It's got the My Ride and all that. I just recently put down fertilizer and detached my front yard, so I'm hoping it'll strap up better than normal. My backyard is super thick. So why don't y'all hang out with me today as I cut my grass. Let's get to edging. Being in the wood shop. But for my weed eater and edger, I use the steel KM91R and this thing is a monster. I mean, absolute beast. I'm sweating a lot, <clears throat> probably because I'm sick, maybe a little dehydrated, but I gotta cut two yards today, so I just edged two houses. Uh, after I edged, uh, it's been non-stop raining here for like a week, so I'm gonna get all this mud. I'm gonna go ahead and blow it all off um, before I mow, that way I don't push it down into my concrete and my tires. So, you guys can see here too. When we get this Toro out, how thick these poops are that my dog leaves for everybody. No, I'm just kidding, but you can see how high the grass is here. Uh, it's, it's pretty thick. Uh, and we're gonna hit some poop. So, all right, let me, uh, let me uh, get to mud. with a uh, steel BR600. See all the mud. Unit just tears right through it. Edge is blowing out. Like I said, I didn't want that mud to get stuck to the concrete, and also I feel like it keeps the lawnmower from pushing it back down into the edge and will allow it to uh, um, it'll look better at the end. You know, even if I were to blow it all at the end, which I do, it will still look better. So I'm gonna go get something to drink because I'm about to die. And uh, we'll come back out here and start mowing. All right, to the mower. I love this thing. I have had no problems out of the plastic uh, pulley covers at all. I wish this was rubber. That's about it though. Only other complaint, my little wool thing broke. So I had to shove a bolt in there, but I think all of them do. Oh man, I almost lost a shop tool today. Look at that. What a lucky find. Anyways, I keep the oil changed. I keep the filter clean. She never lets me down. Keep this handy because the deck gets real dirty sometimes and you, you gotta show it some love. So she's a good mower. Let's get to it.
That's my camera equipment right there. You like it? They are most of centipede. Should look nice.
this ain't even perfect grass. This lawnmower can lay some stripes. And I go over it a few times because it's real thick and I, did, I wanted to mulch up everything. Turn this down. This lawnmower will lay some stripes, ladies and gentlemen. This ain't perfect grass. This is just some centipede and I don't know what else is in here. But I went over it some a couple times to mulch up all the, the excess grass because it is really, really thick. The camera don't do it justice, but y'all seen the weed eater, weed eater in the turd. backyard and beautiful stripes I'm telling you and they look better in person than they do on camera Toro time cutters where it's at y'all saw how thick this grass was anyways if you like this video smash that like button if you want to help support me hit the sub button I got some cool projects coming out in the shop soon most of you guys that are subbed to my channel are for that pool right there and I really appreciate you guys uh, I'll show you what I'm filming with that's what I was filming with so sorry if the angles were bad that's all I got so i make do you know what i mean but uh anyways i'm gonna finish up cutting my neighbor's yard across the road and then i'll catch you guys back when i'm weeding all those weeds that was my neighbor's yard that backyard ain't nothing but nut sage dandelions and i don't know whatever grows back there really anyways i'm about to put the the head on the combi unit and get the weed eaten and hopefully get y'all some cool shots i ain't never videoed this grass cutting stuff before before that though i do want to say with the time cutter i um i love the there it is right there i love the suspension seat it's like you're floating it takes a little bit of time to get used to it uh, when you first get it, but after you get used to it, like my neighbor's backyard over there, I'm bumping like crazy. I'm just sitting there rocking, you know, it's about to put me to sleep. So well done Toro. Um, another thing some people may have thought I only used it for this yard. Last year I cut about nine yards in my neighborhood. Um, so I've used it a lot and it has a lot of time on it. Um, so it's been a very, very reliable machine. It's always cut real good. It's got its third set of blades on it. So I have used it quite a bit. So when I say it's a good mower, I mean it, it's a good mower. So, well, that's it for the time cutter. Let's get the weed eating.
the deck. And trust me, you don't want to forget to do this because I took the deck off like last week. This will just click on there like that. Give her some throttle. Lower it all the way down. Let her rip. Hope you enjoyed it. Toro time cutter ain't no joke. If you're looking to get a, a nice residential lawnmower with some commercial grade features like a real thick deck and a good cut quality. I mean, it's not gonna stripe like no skag, but uh, I mean, you guys saw what it could do. Um, it's a beast, it's pretty quick. Um, an X marks quicker, whatever. I'm cutting my yard and my neighbor's yard. So anyways, and Toro owns X Mark, by the way, for any Toro hater. So, X Mark lover, Toro hater. But I've seen a lot of them on YouTube. You know who you are. But all right, well, that wraps it up. As always, feel free to smash the like button, slap the subscribe. Big Country out.